So we're getting to put another sticker on. We're in Indiana. state down in the books. What number is that? This is number 20. husband's cooking me burgers for lunch. Burgers the old-fashioned way. Mix the meat up yourself. Make sure your hands are clean. After you, before and after. Because this is meat. Get it off your hands. But look at this. These are some big steak burgers. That is some big steak burgers. And then the boys will probably share this. That is some big stick. <laughs> you could probably make like three out of this one right well, here. Well, we're not eating them on bread. Ah, so you wanted to make sure we had enough meat. We're not eating it on bread, so um, we're going to put some cheese on it, some lettuce. Uh, what else? Bacon. Some bacon. Oh, the bacon looks good too. You gotta show them the bacon. Yeah. And we're just gonna eat that for lunch with no bread. So we're trying this uh, low carb keto diet. <laughs> right? Right. So today we are out and about in Shipshawana, Indiana. And we were uh, kind of in a crowded area at first. And uh, we moved over across the street here. And uh, and uh, Tracy's taking some pictures of this little thing here. It's a cool little town, Amish town, and there's uh, horse and buggies, you know, all over the place, and uh, families, uh, Amish families, really yeah. nice people uh, as well. So can't wait to meet some of them. We'll we'll try to to hang out. Uh, <laughs> hang out. I don't with, know if they hang with, out with the Amish on their porch, maybe. No, I don't think they do that. <laughs> are at a uh, Bonneville Mill County Park and it's the oldest grinding mill for flour in Indiana. We couldn't go in to the mill itself because it's still closed but there's a ton of hiking trails and biking trails and that's what we're doing today. Uh-huh. Beautiful I'm, day to do it too. I'm just stopping along taking pictures. He's the one that's doing all the biking. Yep. But it's fun. It's beautiful here. You missed a good ride right there. So we have this I'm going to sample. I had to get this so I can sample in the car on the way out of here. We got Colby Jack, we got Thunder Jack, bacon, 
pepper jack. Amish creamery. Thank you. You guys have a good day. Chipotle. Hickory smoked cheddar. Hickory smoked Swiss. Provolone. Salsa. A big old horn of cheddar. And where did you purchase all this cheese from? All this from Heritage Ridge Creamery in Middlebury, Indiana. Middlebury, Indiana. <laughs> If you're ever in this area, you have to come check this place out. Yeah. I'm excited! We are at the RV Hall of Fame in Elkhart, Indiana. Museum. Hall of Fame. We are at the We are at the RV Hall of Fame in, in Elkhart. Indiana. <laughs> We're sitting in the truck right now because it's raining outside and we thought we'd tell you where we were and so, uh, so hopefully we, we'll be able to take some pictures inside and video inside. Where so we didn't even raining. know this we didn't even know this existed and uh, a friend of ours that uh, lives here told us about it so we're gonna go check it out. See you soon. Harry was a man named Milo Miller who built a trailer so his family could join him on business trips. Milo sold both that trailer and the second one on his very first outing. He returned to Elkhart where he began to build travel trailers full time in the early 1930s. So what is it? This is the manufacturing process. They start with the frame, then the floor, then the carpet, then the cabinets, then the walls, then the roof, electrical, roof decking, roof rubber, windows, slide out, doors and drawers, appliances, furniture, final finish, and finally, quality inspection which which more RV manufacturers should have more quality control at the end of their product which some of them are getting to that so anyways just a suggestion welcome what are you doing I'm driving it's a Winnebago So if you're ever in uh, Indiana, in near Elkhart, Indiana, you got to come check out the RV it's Museum, so cool. the Hall of Fame RV. Is, this is incredible. All of these little uh, RVs back in 19 the 1930s and 1950s, 1950s, and just where they come, you know, they've come so far. But I mean, even back in those days, this right here is. A holiday rambler. I mean, look at that. <laughs> it's so cute. Stop one for our Lake Michigan Lighthouse tour. We're at the New Buffalo Beach Lighthouse area. Stop number two, St. Joseph Lighthouse. 